Yo, 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 what is going on, Team Tweety? I hope you guys are all doing super well. I hope you're having a great day. Today, for me, I am super excited because it's the first time that I get to run, but I'm running on an anti-gravity treadmill, which I've never done before. Lucy actually looked at the prices last night. I think they're like 35 to 70 grand for a treadmill. Crazy, but we'll be using that, and I think I'll be getting on it sort of every day, every second day. I'm not really sure yet. We'll have to see, but it's pretty damn cool to think that I'm technically running, I guess. <laughs> and of course, we got Spike, the dog, just chilling, lying down. What do you think of the, uh, um, treadmill, the anti-gravity? I think it's great. It's really yeah. good fun. Yeah. Um, it's like running, I don't know, it's really hard to describe. <laughs> but I've done it, it's good. Cool, well, I'm excited. So I'm gonna do my best to try and film this. I've never asked this person if I can film. It's at like a chiropractic place. Fingers crossed I can film it, because I want to see it as well, what it looks like, what it... Uh, it's gonna be weird. My legs are feeling a tiny bit fatigued from... I don't think it was from golf, because I've played golf and done nine holes a fair few times and haven't been fatigued. I think it was that gym session. A couple of the exercises just shocked their legs a little bit, which is weird because it's a back thing, but you get the idea. I mean, I haven't worked legs at all. Last thing I will say on this is it's a huge step in the recovery process. I'm so stoked to be progressing because I thought for a little bit there that the meniscus surgery might have failed. I thought that a little bit was hanging off, but it looks like we're just still going ahead with it. It looks like things are fine and this will really be a tell. If I can't, I might get on this treadmill and after a minute, it just doesn't work. I might hurt, who knows? But we gotta try, we gotta, oh no, that's not gonna work. We just gotta keep working, keep doing the rehab, which I do, you guys will see a little bit of it, but I do a fair bit just off camera by myself in the dark when no one's watching. So this is diagnostic. So this is, yeah, exactly. There's a force plate underneath that measures everything that you do. We've got a camera that where we can break down the Oh, okay. I move that to do forward and back. Okay. Um, we can do, we're going to look how you're standing, how you're walking. Yeah. And just see what the hell's going on. Yeah. We're not even going to look at running, obviously, because you can't run. Yeah. Then we might, we'll do, we will do something on that today. Yeah. Yeah. I need to first engage whether or not you can run. Okay. So the thing is, like, if you're, if you're still getting pain, like, with the, like you mentioned with the activities you're doing, I don't think you're going to tolerate running very well. Yeah. Even at low load. Okay. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. even with no body weight, so or very little body weight. So hopefully this will tell. You have lost some pretty global um, strength. You know, yeah. it's not just the left. Okay, onto the left leg. Now let's just see how you go. If you need to hold on, you can. Does it hurt? No, it doesn't hurt. Okay, it's not enough to be very balanced. It's not actually as bad as I thought it would be. You're very much in the toe, but that kind of makes sense given the Liz Frank dislocation on the leg. So. We've got some, you know, we're managing a few things. So, Jeez. <laughs> you do have a wide stance. Yeah. So when everyone's got, they still circle as you would like, if you close your eyes, everyone's got a natural body sway, like you kind of move around. So yours is nice and, it's nice and little, but if anything, yeah. if you're a bit braced, you can see the colors represent force. So you're really in the left, like you've got more force through coming into this left heel than you do the right. So when we come down, uh -huh. there's your feet. So you're loading, Pretty evenly between left and right. We yep. want 40 to 60 percent between the forefoot and the back foot. So you're like very much on the left. Oh heel my, yeah. Front, right. Okay. And the right forefoot's stuffed. We're like backwards. But considering you're our right-footed footballer, <laughs> yeah. Our right footed line, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That kind of fits. And given you've had a Liz Frank dislocation, you have less flexibility okay. in the foot. So we're not like as concerned there. Yeah. But it is a good baseline. Where that's what we're establishing here. We're gonna go to like four, which is not that quick. So about this speed? No, four is like, so this is 3.5, so get your hands off and just see how you feel. Yeah, this is fine. We'll scoot back a bit, you've got a little bit of the tread, you've got treadmill behind you. Yeah, there you go, stay there. How are you feeling there? Yeah, good. Okay, so that's pretty slow, right? Uh-huh. But we can, we'll still get an idea. Yeah, you don't want to pick it up. No, this is fine, this is like walking on the golf course. Yeah, which is... Pretty much all your time. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, my Fitbit steps up. This is the gait report. Yeah. This is like the force per newtons going through the heel and the toe. So you're le le hitting the less hit, like the left foot more gently. Obviously, that okay, makes yeah. sense, right? You're pushing off more through the right forefoot. So you don't have much push through that left yeah. toe at this point. That's because you don't want to extend. So then if we look at what's going on through here, 
your foot, oh, wow. rot foot rotation is like how far in and out they are. Yeah. Your rotations on the left, like you're not as, you know, you're more externally rotated on the right, that's fine. You're taking one centimeter shorter stride on the left. Wow. Your stride length is way too narrow. Like we need a much longer stride, but you're pretty like... Yeah. <laughs> Step width is kind of like how wide your feet are hitting, right? We want yep. them to be in single digits, so you're a bit wide at the minute. Okay. If we look at your butterfly, this is fine. So this is every every line corresponds to one full full as you transfer. Yeah. Right? So the colors correspond to speed. So you're like hitting, you're slow, you're like pushing off the red, um, like the left toe more than you are the right toe. It's yeah. Faster. This is your lateral symmetry. This is how much your butt is drifting to the left, right? You're looking stable, right? But there's no reason to be unstable when you're yeah. looking, right? Any pain? No. No. Okay. So the only way to run is to have a go. Yeah. So let's get a walk at five. So you can put your speed up to five. And let's just see what that looks like. So common mistakes as well when you're running is I want you to kind of lean forward a bit. So I okay. what happens is like you can sort of arch your back too much and extend yeah. up, yeah? How's that feel? Feels fine. Feels fine? Yeah. Yeah? How's it feel? Feels alright. Any pain? No, feels weird. Yeah, we'll feel weird. Now, I want you to try and pick it, like you're kind of shuffling here at the moment, like there's not much ground coverage. Okay. I want you to try and pick your feet up a bit more. Try and keep, you can bend the knees a little bit to pull with the hand. See, I get a tight, a touch. I want to keep going because I want to tell you yep. when I get it. Yep. If, I think it's like when I lift my knee. Yeah. Yeah, when you bend the knee. So yeah, when I bend it to lift up. Yeah, that's where you get it. Where yeah. do you get it out of the leg? Uh, Are you getting it in here? It's, like on, here? That, it's on the outside. Uh, fat pad or lateral? I think it's fat pad. Yeah. Alright, how long? Okay, slow down and walk. We're going to just have to take it. I want to take it really easy yeah. because we can add more, but you can't take it all. Yeah, see that? As soon as I do that, now I'm, when you say it might be low, like... It is low a bit. I, no. I can't. Oh, oh. Yeah, I can't tell you when... Yeah. Okay. Do I press stop? Stop, yeah. We are going to get you in the pool first. Yeah. Okay, we're not ready for this. Like, well, it's not that you can walk and go to town on it, Michael. I oh, don't yeah. want the impact yet. If you can't, like, if you're getting even... The goal with any of this, like, when they talk about running on this, it has to be pain free. Yeah, yeah. For any injury. If it's pain, if you're feeling anything, you're not, it's not good. Yeah. So I don't know exactly what to make of that. I am, like, I'm a little bit disappointed, but at the same time, it's a process. You just have to, you know... Yeah, what can you do? I'm doing all the rehab that I can to make sure that I get this leg like, stronger, but I mean even on 20% uh, gravity and 20% body weight, I still couldn't run properly without it not hurting. Like, you know how frustrating that is after, well it's like 14 weeks now. It is so frustrating and don't get me wrong, I'm not going to give up on the knee or give up on the process. Like you have to believe in the process that it's going to work and I still believe that. It is just, I'm just being truthful with you guys, it's pretty annoying. It goes so, it was like a really bad tear, we just got to keep working at it. But I thought this is the day where I'd be able to get a sweat on and kind of run a little bit, but I guess not. So that's going to be the video there. Uh, no treadmill, I still can't do it, it's frustrating. but. It's a process, we just gotta keep pushing through it and eventually, one day, we might be able to run. I've also kind of been looking into the future for my football of what I wanna do, whether I wanna stay in Sydney. Look, we don't know what's happening with the virus, whether I'll be able to go overseas, but I do have a little bit of a plan. If I can come back sort of in the next two to three months, which I think is realistic, there may be an opportunity to play at a very good level for what's happening right now. It's MPL one Look, maybe I'll have to go up to Queensland. Like right now, I can't actually go up to Queensland because it's illegal. I can't, it's so weird. So we're just gonna have to see what happens. Take the process as it comes. Hopefully in the next two to three months, a lot of things change and the virus slows down. But we just don't know, man. So I do have a bit of a plan, which could be really interesting to see if that comes to fruition. But yeah, apart from that, it's just about making sure that I keep doing the rehab, I keep working, and as boring as it is, it's just uh, have the situation right now. So I'm gonna end the vlog there. Team Two Amazon. I'm Max Black. I'll see you next time. And Jen Jen, I'll see you next time.